welcome back. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Killing Eve Season 5, Episode 3, titled Meetings Have Biscuits. I'm just gonna wait for this helicopter or whatever. Okay, so first and foremost, last episode was really intense and there was a lot of information in it and the plot is starting to ramp up. Eve is back in the game because Kenny's dead. Someone killed him, they don't know who, and they're trying to figure out who, and she and Carolyn are gonna investigate. Carolyn a little bit more secretly because she's still part of MI6. Eve basically just on her own, plus with Kenny's former coworkers who work at that journalism thing. So there's that. Second, Villanelle is trying to be a keeper. She basically failed her first test because she shot her protege because he fucked up. So maybe that was not bad for her to do because maybe they wanted her to just kill him if he messed up, which he did. Kind of ruined your shot there, bud. But in any case, she's trying to be a keeper and people keep screwing her over. Constantine came back and was like, hey, you're not safe. And Dasha is not to be trusted. And she's like, I'm fine, I'm cool. And he was like, hey, by the way, Eve is still alive. And she spun out and that's where we're at. So a lot could happen in this episode. Eve could run into Villanelle in their investigation. Villanelle could seek Eve out because she's mad that she couldn't finish the job. I think she's obviously, based on everything that happened in the last episode, she's obviously still like, she's like, I took care of it, as in she shot Eve. She, she didn't want to have feelings for her anymore. She didn't want to have feelings for her anymore so badly that she shot her. So she took care of it, or she thought she did, and Eve is still alive. So maybe she's gonna go back and be like, Man, trying to kill you again, killing Eve, that's the name of the show. Or she's gonna be like, I'm sorry that I tried to shoot you. Who knows, maybe they don't don't run cross paths in this episode at all. However, this is an episode that people in the comments of my reactions have been telling me is like everyone was excited about this one and everyone wanted me to react to this one. Um, so some is, is happening. I would imagine even Villanelle are gonna cross paths again because I don't know why anyone would be excited if this excited about this episode if they didn't cross paths again. So my money's on crossing paths. That is all I have to say about that. I am ready for this episode. Let's jump into episode three. Here we go. Eve, she is alive. It's not possible. <laughs> it is possible. It is. Out in my villa in Barcelona, living that villa life. I have a pool, no big. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Is she the target? Is she gonna be like, ah, you're annoying. My tuning forks are used for death. <laughs> she didn't at least hook up with her first. Like, come on. She's very pretty. Gotcha. <laughs> I like, don't oh, know, there's a baby here. No, 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 didn't I say the autopsy would reveal that he was fine until he hit the ground? Carolyn's in the bath. <laughs> wow. What am I walking into? <laughs> it will come as you can. I haven't looked up in ten minutes. <laughs> Did you get Kenny's drive? I love Carolyn gives no fucks ever. Representative, for I knew this meeting was in a bathroom. Carolyn has never given a single solitary fuck in her entire life. So we have the burner phone and the thumb drive. What else do we have to go on? Excellent. Good meeting. Great talk. Great Zoom, everybody. Carolyn, you and Mo take the phone. We'll take the thumb thingy. Because you know what we do from now on? We share. Wow. That is literally the most parenting this household has ever seen. I love her, the daughter. Get her in on this. I love that she's like, she's in it, but she's like, mm, just keep my distance. I don't know. You thought this was a good idea. She took the baby. She took the baby. What could you do? You have been unfocused and manic for days. She and loves babies. You want this bread, baby? Are you a bird? 
You would think after your last managerial disaster, you would want to keep your head down. Oh, okay. So they actually did not approve of her killing the protege. It is not my fault he was in the Where is she going to take the baby? <laughs> no, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think no one else is prepared to do it? Bad pensions. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw her do that, but then suddenly everybody's like, oh, there's a baby in the garbage. Where is that? I wonder where's near here with an empty um, baby booster seat. Oh, them. Is it London? Yeah, buddy. No, what do you mean? No, it's too soon. Not ready for London. All you need is Anorak. Face like cheese. You're right. You're right. I know what I'm doing. She's like, I got this. I, you know what? It's fine. I'm emotionally stable. I can handle this. Let's do it. The Rubik's cube has letters on it. Clues, perhaps. Code, maybe. It is worse than worse than Rubik's cube. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Turn it right face 90 degrees clockwise. He left clues, the baby. Also, I love how still how Eve still wears her wedding ring as if that's like not completely over. Is that supposed to mean something? Kenny and I were looking into an international organ. But before I go on, you have to understand that once I tell you about them, your lives are in danger. Don't tell us. So call the 12. <laughs> so don't tell us anyway. <laughs> Organizations all over the world. You can't trace the account. Well, yeah. I thought he and Kenny were going to be friends. Turns out that he's like the new Kenny. I don't. I'm. You know, sat in the couch. And now you want me to trust you. Take this job thinking it would be easier. If you did, quit now. Because it's only getting tougher. I used to be in your shoes, okay? I was in that job. I'll see what I can do. Do you have any idea what happens to people who are protected by MI6? They die. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> She's like, listen, <laughs> I've been shot. It's not even a thing. It was me. Just let me in. Somebody's been siphoning money from the Geneva account. I managed to retrieve what's left, but a pretty sizable chunk's been taken. So it's not the 12 making payments, it's somebody siphoning money off of that account? Hey, Villanelle. Dead ass, though. I can't be stopped, I'm sorry. Is she gonna mix her, her famous perfume again for Eve? Miss me? Psst, psst. I want to smell powerful. I want to make people gag with it. <laughs> Can we do that? We have some lovely floral fragrances for ladies over here. No, 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 no. Did I say floral? I said I want people to gag with it. I can't wait to hear this. I want to smell like a Roman centurion. Who's coming across an old foe? Who in battle wants hurt him greatly? <laughs> <laughs> the pictures you paint, hon. The tapestry you are weaving. Kenny would be too. He always wanted you to meet some. <laughs> Let me. And don't talk about Stalin. He's strictly third date. Does Carolyn often talk about Stalin on dates? It's also not a date. She's probably doing reconnaissance. <laughs> Charming friends. I hate them. Let's go. So Geneva still treating you well. What the bank? Red flag going up Geneva Bank. She set this up, didn't she? She knew he would be there. The real owner is this guy, Charles Kruger, born Sergei Korchmarev in East Berlin. It's the guy that Constantine just met with. Okay, we're tying the strings together. This is how you prepare for your murders by buying stuffed animals. This place is psychopathic. That's funny, isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic, huh? She's gonna make a little present for Eve, huh? It's not very private in there. Don't say anything too salacious. <laughs> I should have shot you in the head and watched you die. In the erase, erase. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We've been new. Can I get help? I'm just waiting for Nico. He discharged himself. But did he 
leave me a note or nope. afford an address? He wanted to skedaddle. Why are you still hanging on to this? He did say something about Poland. Oh, he's going back to Poland. Let him go. Sayonara. Oh, she's clearly upset about it though. All right, let us pause there. Take a moment, let that information digest. We'll see you back for more in part two.